Now it's time to preview our end zone game of the week as we have a clash of the titans, John Milch Academy and Tattnall Square Academy. John Millage Academy's quest for a fifth consecutive state title is off to a perfect start with a 9-0 record and are now on a state record 59-game win streak, despite returning only seven starters. The Trojans are still the team to beat in the GIAA. We've had to scratch and claw a little bit this year and kind of had to earn a lot of these wins and uh, these guys are finding a way to win, you know, and we had a, a mantra years ago called find a way um, and we feel like it's really, you know, coming, coming back to show its head again this year and these guys are really what they're leaning on, whether it's, you know, finding a way defensively, offensively or in the special teams department, just finding a way to win. Tattnall Square Academy had a challenging 1-4 start to the season, facing tough non-region opponents. However, they rebounded going 3-1 over the last four games, but due to those highs and lows, managing the team's confidence has been a roller coaster. We lose a couple games and we find ourselves not confident enough to go compete. And then we, we put it together and we start competing and we go three games and we win and then all of a sudden our head gets too big and we, we're still struggling to find that nice sweet spot right in the middle where we're confident and know that what we're going to do is going to work, but we don't want to be too confident. John Millage could secure the region title with a victory, while Tattnall could earn a home playoff game by ending JMA's five-year undefeated streak. To me, that's the most important thing for winning this game Friday is we've got to be confident going in the playoffs and know that we can beat anybody. And, um, and beating them will prove that we can beat anybody because they are this big monster uh, in, our, in our league. The final end zone game of the week for the regular season is set for tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. at Trojan Field in Milledgeville. We'll have live pregame coverage at 5, 5.30 and 6 p.m. with highlights and scores on the end zone at 11 p.m. right here on 41NBC.